Hi, and welcome to Read Help, an information support forum for people with dyslexia, perceptual dyslexia, and hyperlexia, and for parents with children with these conditions. Today we're joined by Dr. Paul Whiting, an expert in the field of perceptual dyslexia. Paul, what can you tell us about this condition? Well, by perceptual dyslexia, we're really talking about people who have a visual perceptual difficulty. There are auditory perceptual difficulties, and they are difficulties with interpreting the sounds that go to make up words. But we're talking about visual perceptual difficulties. And this is where a person looks at the page of print, and the print doesn't stay stable and clear and sharp and easy to see and reading becomes visually uncomfortable for them. Uh, so that's a very specific type of, of dyslexia and it may be coupled with other types as well. So you may have a visual perceptual dyslexia and an auditory perceptual dyslexia and there may be some other things involved in it as well. The trick is always to work out what am I dealing with here uh, we can say dyslexia, but now we need to be, get more specific in order to know how to help the person. Okay, great. Paul, I've also heard of a condition called Erlen syndrome. Is that the similar thing? Erlen syndrome is the same as a visual perceptual dyslexia, yes, and it's also called scotopic sensitivity syndrome. Any of those names will do. Um, it's called Erlen syndrome because the psychologist who first uh, discovered how to help with this problem was called uh, Helen Erlen. Um, I've, I've heard that uh, diet is a factor. Is the food that a, a child eats important to, to their reading? I don't think it is with a, a dyslexic child. You often find that it is with a child who has, for example, an attention deficit disorder. Uh, diet is often helpful there. And sometimes, even with dyslexic children, supplementation is Im helpful, like with omega-3 okay. supplements, uh, for example. Um, but uh, you, you need to test that out, and it is possible to do that by uh, seeing whether the child does react to certain foods badly. Okay, fantastic. Paul, thank you very much for your time today. If you're looking for more information on this or any other literacy condition, please visit our website at readhelp.com.au. Thanks for your time. Oh, my God.